Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, August 1st, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Mark chapter 6, reading from verse 1 to 6. And it says, And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence had this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works were wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Joseph, and of Judah, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went around about the village, teaching. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words. And this morning we can see here this story is something that a lot of us can identify with. They have a saying that a king has no honor in his own country. And I guess they got that phrase from this passage of scripture. Because what we can identify in this story here is that Jesus he was in his own country and he was teaching and he was preaching but they did not accept him they did not believe in him so one day he was teaching in the synagogue and so the people you know they came out and they were listening or they were hearing they came to see what was happening or what it was all about and they knowing Jesus, they were taken by surprise as to the things that he was saying and how he could know all of these things considering his reputation seeing that he's just a carpenter. So he was not an educated person according to them or from their point of view. So him saying all of these things, they were amazed but not amazed to the point where they are actually humbled or want to, to accept what he's saying you know but it brought even more resentment towards jesus and so they began to grumble and talk about who is he who is this i know him he just lived down the street he's just joseph's and mary's son He's just a carpenter. He's nobody. So how could he be telling us these things? Who gave him such authority? What, what is he talking about? And so they did not accept Jesus or what he was saying. But they only made smart comments about him. They rejected him and what he was saying. Now, Jesus realizing what was happening, he said this to them. A prophet is not without honor. Okay, but in his own country. In other words, don't expect to be readily accepted by those who you are familiar with because that possibility is highly unlikely. The possibility exists that you will be more accepted by others who do not know you than those who know you because what? When they look at you, the folks who know you, all they see is just Ryan, a ordinary person, or Mary, just an ordinary person. There's, you know, I know her, I know him. So they, they just look at you as a joke sometimes. And they don't think you are qualified to, to give the information that you are giving to them. And so they... They are kind of reluctant and they refuse 
to hear. So they, they stuff their ears. They lock their mind. And they want to hear nothing. Because what? In their mind, you, you are just not qualified to tell them these things. They just, they just see you as a joke. So they look down on you. They, they don't give you any recognition. They don't give you any acceptance. Because you are just an ordinary person. And the reality is so. Because look at it. Look at how your own would treat you sometime. Compared to how a stranger would treat you. The comparison is so different. And you wonder why. You would expect that somebody who knows you. Somebody who is more familiar with you. Would treat you better. Than someone who does not know you. Who have no prior knowledge of you who is not familiar with you but it is quite the opposite a lot of times but you see what jesus did here jesus did not allow this to stop him the reading continued to say is that he went on to healing as much as they refused to accept what he was saying and he wasn't able to do much or any mighty work in his community he still went on and he healed those who wanted healing or those who the few folks that that would accept what he's offering and so he healed them but he was also amazed at their unbelief because he was like how oh, these people why is their heart so hardened but something to note here is that it doesn't matter the rejection that you and I may face from sharing the word of God. We must still continue to share the word of God. Don't worry about how people respond. Just give the message as you are commanded by God to give it. Just share it and share it in a loving way and in a kind way. Don't use it as a battering stick because they are refusing you. So now you are using it to beat them over their heads. Don't do that. Share it just as how the Holy Spirit is guiding you to share it. And so keep in mind that not everyone will accept what you are saying. And especially those who know you sometimes. They are the hardest to convince. It is. But you must still share it. Nevertheless. So I know that sometimes it is difficult when sharing the word of God. Because of the reception that we often receive. But yet still, in spite of that, there are still those maybe not with those we know but there are still folks who are willing to hear the word of god and they will even if they are not interested they will still indulge you so you still have an opportunity to plant the seed and then the holy spirit will water it afterwards but regardless of the situation and the circumstances whether or not persons are receptive or they reject what you and I are saying your mission is my mission is to continue to share the Word of God no matter what and so I pray that as we continue this reading this morning that we will be encouraged understanding that Jesus experienced the very same thing that we do and so he's able to give us these comforting words this morning that he will he will honor you for your work and he will honor you also through the experience of others even if those within your own community your own house those who know you reject what you're saying and in truth and in fact 
Israel also is some of the hardest people to convince or to to influence to change something drastic have to happen sometime for them to come to the understanding that they need to to to, to shape up themselves so be encouraged and may God continue to bless your effort and to bless your work as we seek to do his will and to continue to reap the harvest which he has called us to labor in. May God continue to bless us. In Jesus' name, amen.